Afternoon all. Back in the lakes again. This could potentially be our last trip for a while. I think I'm going to get quite a bit busier for work over the next couple of weeks. So potentially these few days might be our last solo ones for a while. So we're going to make the most of it. Try to get as many Wainwrights in as we can. We are currently up on the top of Carrick Fell, which is lovely. The weather is beautiful, not a breath of wind. Forecast showers and little bits of rain, but I don't think it's going to be anything too bad. Uh, four Wainwrights through this evening, so basically the ones that we cocked up when we came up from Oldale the other, the other time. Uh, so we've got here and High Pike, and then Knot and Great Calver, which we didn't do before. So uh, distance wise, we've got about probably about 14 miles. Should have enough light to do it, it's mid afternoon now. Um, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem with the light. And to be fair, once we're up now, it's uh, relatively easy going. It was very steep coming up. Uh, we came up from Mosedale, so it's steep up to here, but by the looks of it, fairly easy going from here on in. So we'll make a move. Nice little start to the day. It's actually the uh, site of an old Iron Age hill fort, this, uh, built by the Celts, apparently. You can just about see the uh, outline wall. So this wall here, which encases the top of the summit here. It's just a nice little bit of history for everyone. Okie doke, let's crack on. Just on the way up to High Pike now, been pretty easy going from uh, Carrick Fell. A little bit boggy in places, but not too bad at all. So we've made good time. All this is High Pike, just disappearing. Just about see the summit cairn over there. And that is Carrick Fell, where we've just come from. So, another five or 10 minutes. We'll be on the top of High Pike. We're at number two for the day. High Pike. Whoa. We really put a march on up there. Whew. Bit of a sweat now. Beautiful views again. to Blencathra, Lonscale, Little Man and Skiddaw, where we were last week. Snow's all but gone now, a few little spots of it here and there, but it's two weeks, well, a good week since it came down proper, so we've got a lot of rain since then as well, so it's all gone. But it's early May. Okie doke, just have a nice little sit on this bench for a couple of minutes and we'll head out. A big enclosure on the uh, path between, uh, where were we? High Pike and not. I presume it's uh, not too well up on the hill farming to be fair, but I presume it's somewhere they round up all the sheep, probably uh, before the lamb, I presume, to take them down. At least that's what I'm guessing.
Nice little spot to shelter from the storm. Most recent one uh, today, actually. Next stop, Great Calva. I should presume it's that little rascal there in the middle. Must say, one scale fell looks a lot better from this side than actually standing on it. It's pretty cool there. Eh? Okie okay, doke, last one of the day. today weather's turned a bit wet but it's not raining too heavily you can still see all the peaks still navigate by sight so not too bad at all don't mind this okie doke well I was gonna just retrace my steps don't quite touch high pike and back the way we came I'm just gonna uh, have a quick look if there's an easy way down back through this valley I'm not sure there is but We'll have a quick look. Okay, I think we've worked out a bit of a shortcut. So this up here is Great Calva. Um, that just round the corner is not, so we'd have to really drop down and go up back to not. Then all the way across here, over the backside there, and then climb all the way up again to uh, that one there, which is Carrick Fell, and then over the other side. I'm thinking, what might be a better bet is if we just go straight down this path here, pick up this uh, river on the way down, and it virtually winds its way all the way back to Mosedale. It looks like there's a decent path alongside it, so I think I've been wrong before, and shoot me, but I don't have a paper map of this area, so we're doing it, well, we're winging it, let's say. But I think this should be okay don't do it as I'm doing take a map and a compass all the time we made it down to the little back bridge which is always handy so I think we'd get over this one without and it looks like this path goes all the way into Mosedale which is an absolute result saved us quite a lot of elevation on the way back not that we mind the elevation of course but it's just uh, got a few big days one really big day planned hopefully weather permitting on the Langdales which is about 10 or maybe 11 big day that one but we'll wait for the the nicest day with the weather we'll do that one I think tomorrow's gonna be pretty grim so I think the plan will be um, stay up in the northern fells I think we've got three left um, Bakestall, Black Rig and Sutherfell so I think if the weather's a bit grim might you do those three just standalone ones just up and down so uh, see what the weather says but I think that's the uh, that's the plan as we stand. And then Friday looks to be the best day, so maybe that'll be the Langdales. Well, 
Well, so far so good. This uh, path has stuck to the beck pretty much. And it also looks like it bends round to the right here underneath Carrick Fell, which is absolutely the way we want to be going. It's going to bring us out a little bit short of where the van's parked, but we can take that. It'll be a nice little walk down through this valley. Distance will probably be about the same to be fair, but we've just cut out quite a bit of elevation. Okie doke, we'll come back to you if we run into any troubles. Been a lovely walk back down the river along this road. This gorse here, beautiful. Lovely little spot this. Glad we came back this way. Full scale fell up there, full scale town and the little plateau. Have to do a wild camp up there, see if we could catch a trout or two. Back at the van now, just under 14 miles, so I was about right. I think we probably saved a little bit of distance coming down through the valley along the river, but not much. So yep, four Wainwrights in the bag to start the week. Happy days, let's keep them rolling. I was just passing, so I thought I'd uh, call in, get a shot of Russie's van. He's uh, camping up on Ullock Pike tonight, doing a bit of a challenge where he's camping on all 214 of the Wainwrights. Um, I'm not sure how much he's up to yet, but um, yeah, fair play to him. So up on Ollock Pike tonight. Have a good night, mate. I'll just, uh... so that's his Insta and Facebook and whatnot. If you want to follow him, give him some cash, doing it for uh, mental health charities. So fair play to you, mate. Keep it up. 